morning guys today we are gonna make a video on designing and analysis of a chimney so these are used especially used for the nuclear projects and for and for industries like products etc to release the smoke or the effluents into the air so firstly let us let us get into the start pole wait till the window opens okay it is opening okay now let us click on new project click on space let the structure be named as chimney chimney let the length units be in meters and force units be in kilonewtons click on next click on add beam click on finish So here we will go for geometry run structure wizard. In this we will be taking for surface and plate nodes here we will go for cooling tower. Cooling tower let the top diameter be. Well, the throat diameter be 10. 10. Click on apply. So, this is how you are going to get. Click on cancel. Then, yes. Then, click on OK. Then, it is where it has been generated. So, now, now since the geometry we, are, we have got, then next we, get, we have to provide here. We have to provide a mesh. Since the first of all, we have to provide the support so that the mesh will be will not get overlap when we provide the supports. Then first of all, let us provide supports. Then go for the general. Select the select the property. Here the property is go for the thickness. Thickness of the plate. Let it be 0.20. File, then click on add and click on close. So use the cross uh, assign to view, click on assign, click on yes. So it has been assigned. Then we will be going for the supports. Supports has been selected. Then go for the down view. Then we have to select the nodes to give the supports. Click on fix supports, click on add. So click on this one. and use the cursor to assign same here 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 so in this way we have to give the supporting supportings to the all the bottom nodes of the chimney chimney it is also known as chimney or else cooling tower Chimney tower, then click on as in. It will be as in. So next, uh, next uh, part is we have to add the mesh to this one. So then click on mesh here. Then click on here. In this way, we have to give the mesh throughout the throughout the bottom side of the chimney. So then we have given we have given the mesh. So let let us wait for the structure of the chimney.
they did be loaded. is taking too long so I will skip the video. So in this way the bottom of the chimney will be displayed. So click on isometric view. So this is the actual view of the chimney. So then uh, let us see in this rendered view. Since it is not getting taking too long for this one so I will just skip it so this is the one then the geometry has been completed next we will be going for the general so so after the gen in general we have specified the properties and supports then we will go for the loads and definitions in loads and definitions we will, we will be considering the only seismic parameters since the wind load is neglected here since the load is, since the load is not so much then click on add go for the indian standard seismic parameters 2002 to 2005 click on include this one it generates okay or else keep here with the value will be 1 then click on add self rate factor will be 1 click on add click on plus then the load case details click on add and load case details firstly we will provide we will provide firstly seismic in seismic wind in x direction click on add wind in z direction click on add dead load dead load click on add then click on close then wind in x direction click on add wind in x direction means sorry 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 we should not take wind but we have to take here earthquake earthquake in x direction yes. in z direction click on change click on close so the earthquake in x direction and earthquake in z direction click on earthquake in x direction click on add earthquake in x direction so say let us go for the seismic in x direction it is 1 click on close then earthquake in z direction click on add go for the seismic in here uh, it is in z direction click on add, click on close, it's completed, then we will go for the dead load, in dead load the self weight of the chimney is taken, it is we add and close, assign to you, assign, click on yes, so the self weight or the dead load of the structure has been displayed in this way and it has been assigned so after that the loads and definitions have been completed let us go for the material in material we will be selecting the concrete only assign to view assign so all the concrete concrete only is being used so the concrete has been assigned then we will go for the analysis and print option so here let us add this for analysis click on close we have to analyze this structure and go for the analysis run analysis click on save let us wait for the result
we are getting any error so we will we'll rectify that error thickness is not provided for element number 401 so we have to provide the thickness so we will just we will go for the general here thickness thickness is 0.23 sorry 0 point, 0 point 0.25 click on, click on this one then click on all of this alert fit has been as in click on as in click on yes so that it has been as in so then we will go for the analysis and print function click on add click on post then we have to analyze the option then we have to go for the run analysis let us wait for the analysis Part. let us wait and see if at all if we get any errors we have to rectify the <coughs> it is taking too much time because the number of nodes are greater so that we are taking it too much time let us just wait for the so we are getting zero error then we can go, go to post processing mode click on done click on apply click on ok so when the dead load is acting this is the structure so if we go for the play load it is in this way earthquake in the dead load direction it is in this way so simply we will just go for the animation go for the deflection click on apply click on ok so here you can see when the earthquake is occurring here the members are getting deflected so when the dead load is occurring there is no such deflection so yeah, is there a deflection here a little bit so here earthquake is x direction so here the reflection is occurring so next we will go for the design part so we will go for the design part the, when we go for the design part click on the concrete here is 456 has been selected click on select parameters import all the parameters click on compressive strength of the concrete click on ok then f5 main click on ok then click on ok so only these two parameters are being placed then commands go for the commands only take take off click on close then define parameters in f5 main sorry fc go for the 30,000 30,000 click on add then f5 main go for the file app. So it has been assigned. Next we will go for the FI main, main bar reinforcement. Then click on assign to view, click on assign. Let us wait for the assign. Assigning of the main reinforcement class. So it has been assigned. So next we will perform the design analysis. Then go for the analysis and print. Go to perform analysis, click on add and click on close. Go for the analysis and run the analysis. Click on save.
let it be loaded. Since we get no errors, since we are getting no errors. After the analysis, we will not we get zero error, so we go for the hot processing mode and then click on done. So this is the post processing mode. Since we have seen this, so let us see once more. Mm, click on OK. Click on close. So in this way, the earthquakes in each direction will cause the deflection in the chimneys. So we, when it comes to dead load. So here, here the deflection is closing. Only better small, but its efficiency. So in this way, it has been closing. So in this way, the design and the analysis of the chimney has been done. Let us go for the rendered view to see the rendered view of the chimney. Let us wait till the model opens. So. So here, here you can see here. So this is the base of the chimney. So in this way, this is the this is the 3D rendered view of the chimney. Here now you can clearly see. So here this is the top, and uh, this is the throat. This is the top diameter. This is the bottom diameter. Uh, this is the base. Here the supports will be provided. So in this way, uh, we will get a rendered view. Uh, see here. It's done. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.